All right, we are in historic Clifton, Arizona. Here is the old train depot. This is a beautiful little little town, right? It is uh, nestled in the rugged landscape of the American Southwest. I've never been here before. It's, uh, I believe, one of the oldest towns in Arizona. It is so cool. These houses up built up on the side of the up on the mountains. You know there's got to be some abandoned stuff here. The old jail is up here, so we're going to walk through town and get up to the old jail and take you on a really awesome guided tour of this small old mining town. All right, so we are at the Clifton Jail. Blasted from living rock, this jail can find many of the bad men who crowded into the district in the boom days. The local tradition says that the first inmate in 1881 was the miner who built the jail. Huh. It was contributed <laughs> to the town by the Wasinski brothers. Wasinski brothers who built the first copper smelter on Chase. Creek. Oh, with a name like Lisinski. Maybe the dude was in here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we can see down in there. We'll go inside as well. It's left open. Huh. Yeah, this looks like the place to be. Oh, that's a cool well, steam engine right there. It was out here. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Here we go. It's a busy, busy road out there. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, this is. Pretty interesting. Oh yeah. Oh, I sure wouldn't like use a word like cool or anything <laughs> like that. How horrible. Oh. I'm not so sure these are the best accommodations, but you can definitely see up and out these little holes. I don't know if I can get everybody up high enough. There we go. <laughs> wow. Probably have to adjust the lighting on this. out we go. Yeah, Michelle's <laughs> closing me in. I can just stay in here. Yeah, I'm not not so sure you'd want to be in there. Alrighty. Oh, this is pretty neat. The Copperhead Coronado Railroad. Clifton Arizona. Oh, it is. Okay. Let's see what else we can find today. And this is a great little town if you're just looking to get out of the city and and uh, get out for the day and get away. Not sure what this building over here is that's all uh, boarded up, but we'll definitely check it out here real quick. 
You know there's got to be some abandoned places in this town. If you can't handle the 115 degree heat in Phoenix, you can come here for a, a nice little 106 cool day. Yeah, yeah, it's a little cooler here in Clifton, that's for sure. I wouldn't say a whole lot. And if you want to cool off, there's the American Legion over having a have a cold brewski. Yeah, <laughs> one lane bridge. We'll go over there and check that out. See what this is. I just, maybe the old town hall. Oh. I think, but I'm not yeah, It's definitely locked up. Okay. Oh, there's the old shovel over there. Oh yeah, we'll go over there and check that over out. Over there, we'll go over there and check that out. It says there's an RV park here, so if you have an RV, there is an opportunity for you to bring the whole family in and camp here if you're interested. There's an art depot here as well. That's in the train station. Clifton Visitor Center information where you can get your pamphlet and hours until further notice. So Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So if you're looking for a good 12 hour a week job, that's the place for you. Yes, yes. If you are in need of part-time work, that is... Didn't say they were hiring, but... Yeah. Oh, we have public restrooms here in Clifton at the town, uh, at the town hall. Yeah. And you can just make sure that you watch your family as they go in and out. Yeah, as they leave the windows wide, wide open for everyone to see into the restrooms. I actually used them earlier. They are very clean and in really good, good shape. But uh, I haven't seen a train go by yet. And uh, yeah. That's such a cool view of the, look at that. It looks like an old mission there. It says rooms. Oh yeah. And then up on the hill, it looks like there's an old abandoned mining house. It does. So we're gonna go over there and continue to explore the town. Yeah. I mean, you definitely can't beat the views in this. Yeah, and up that direction, there's more of a historical district up there. Yeah. So come along here and we will uh, show you all through Clifton. This takes you over the San Francisco River, which goes through Clifton. I can't believe that this bridge is still Intact. Clifton Hotel and Bar. All right, we have come to this shovel that has been donated by Phelps Dodge Mining, the Morency branch. You can just pause the video and read over all of that if you need to pretty cool wow this thing is enormous i am not sure that the video or that the camera is capturing this thing Wow. Make a little tiny house out of that. Huh. Oh, there's where the operator must have been sitting at one time. 
I'm assuming you used to be able to go up and into this, but obviously not anymore. Okay. I climbed up in here. Let's see what we got in this old thing. I mean, we had to check it out, right? I'm not quite sure what we're all looking at in here, but I'm sure somebody who watches these videos can enlighten me in the comments on what all of this is. I'm assuming that's the that's the big cable. Wow. a beast in here. This would be fun to actually operate one of these probably. Oh, this is so cool. What a great view you had every day at work. Man, sit in your little captain's chair right here. I see uh all the locals come up into this thing, obviously. Leave wonderful messages for each other. Oh. All right, here we go. Oh, what was in here? Let's see if we can open this up. Oh, there's nothing in here. I'm sure there was something at, at one time. Okay. Okay, back down we come. Take that, Michelle. Okay. Trespasser! Yeah, Just right? Just kidding, there's no no trespassers. Uh, there's, no, there's no signs or anything. So this is the old Clifton Bar and Hotel we are at. It's just right down from that shovel we just saw. Um, I can only imagine like if these walls could tell stories from like these rowdy miners or uh, you know travelers who were resting here throughout all the all the years. I'm sure, there's been a lot of great bar fights and wonderful individuals who have stayed here very historic there's the old clifton assessor's office we'll go over that in a minute you can see the the emergency siren system up on top of the building i'll go over there in a second i want to see what this park is all about I have this cute little park here and i don't know what purpose this serves but it serves a purpose here the Al Fernandez Park in recognition of his many years of service to Clifton dedicated December 24th 1989 hmm. pretty nice it's early in the morning so no one's really around or out doing anything although it's still somehow like 90 degrees out already see there's the clifton hotel and bar and then there's that big shovel and there's the bridge so if you come here that's all right on top of each other and then let's see here we got the old clifton sayers office we'll go the other way where there's 
more things, I'm determined to find some abandoned places. I'm not sure if that one up on the hill there, up above that RV, is abandoned or not, but we'll surely find out. Well, it was built in 1919, flooded in 1983, restored in 2015. Huh. Pretty interesting. Have to make an appointment, obviously, to get a tour of it. I don't know what we can see from here. Not a whole lot. Oh, it's the old Clifton Police Department used to be here. Wow. I didn't even know Clifton had a police department. This town is so, so small. Okay. Let's see if I can Get the old emergency siren. It's up on top here of this building. Oh, there it is. Hopefully you can see it up there next to the American flag to the to the left. I believe that still probably works to this day. I can imagine it, it doesn't work. All right, here we go. Sir. Yeah, Uber. yeah, my Uber is, my Uber is here. My wife is patiently waiting. All right, heading back out over this crazy little bridge here. Oh no, here comes somebody. We gotta go first. <laughs> You're okay. Oh man, that thing is. Oh, there's a javelina right there's there. There's a javelina the right there. It's crossing the road. Hopefully everybody can see it. It's a little javelina. We'll go right over here and say hi. I think this guy thinks we're talking to him or something. Yeah, where'd the little javelina go? There he is. Hi, little guy. Oh, he ran away. Okay, well, we'll try to get some more nature then. All right, so downtown Clifton right now. I don't think that's in service anymore across the street there. Maybe we'll go over and see real quick. Oh yeah, there's the old mine shaft. We'll go over there. I've seen it in other videos, but here is downtown, like old historical Clifton. Some great shops. This is Granny's Attic, antiques, glassware, books, toys. A really cool little town here. Here's the parking, it's two hour parking, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., no loitering. And there's- This is Chase no, Creek Street. This is Chase Creek Street to get downtown. And that's just where you park is right there. Um, it did say no limit on overnight parking, so if you're an RVer or a van lifer, I mean, maybe you could park there. Doesn't say you cannot overnight, so. Actually, says there's no limit. Oh, I know. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> well, this old building's for sale. What was this? The Chase Creek might be why. Marketplace. Handcrafted gift gallery. Oh, this is cute. What do we got going on here? The Freddie Fritz Youth Pride Park, 1984. To those that have demonstrated pride and dedicated dedication to the work out there. Yeah. Summer youth workers. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this old piece of equipment right here. This is still very active. I mean, right up the road is Morenci. They mine for gold, copper, Silver, I believe they're the largest mining outfit worldwide. Um, 
who owns that up there? I believe it's Phelps Dodge owns that. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's a very happening little town right outside of Marinci here. And Clifton used to do a lot of mining as well. A lot of things look like they're out of business or, or I'm not sure what's going on with that. For sale. <laughs> Seems to be a theme here. Okay. It's a hair salon. It's a hair salon over there. This is yeah. obviously too big oh. for two vehicles to go through, so. I wonder if these are apartments that go up into these places. I wonder if the business, yeah, okay, so the business, okay, you can see that. Look, the business is down low and the apartments are up top. Yeah, That's I see so some cool. AC units up there. Yeah. So there's apartments up above all these old. They even have a dispensary. Oh, they do. Look at that right there. Oh. Stone archaeology. Yeah. Exploring the pits of hell. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what it says. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That is cool. Okay. There is a drop off here. Oh, yeah. Be <laughs> careful. The, the streets are very, very narrow. Yeah, this is it says free lunch material. at the Nickel Beer on Drought. Nickel Beer on Drought. Free lunch if you're downtown, I guess. I'm not sure. It's so early, like I said, everything is pretty this much. Is kind of like an artsy area. Yeah, this is like a little artsy area down here. Yeah, I'm seeing apothecaries and this is the acupuncture. Clifton Historic District. Backstein Jewelry, built in 1913, has been placed on the National Registry of Historic Places. Okay. Yeah, this is really a very cute little area if you're into this. Oh. I am not sure. I don't sure. think it's a pharmacy anymore. I think it's Maybe people apartments. live there. Apartments. Looks like oh, apartments. This is just parking back here. Oh, okay. That just takes us back to the parking. Let's that way to cut across into. real quick here. Ooh, that's Watch a your step. Drop off. It is. It's almost turned into a tragic event. It has. It, uh, wow. Woodman of the World, the family fraternity. Huh, Lodge 31 meets the third Thursday. And you can see down the street, it's real narrow. And I, I think this has to be a one way, it's just not marked. I, I'm not sure how two people could fit through here at one time. No. Okay. I mean, it definitely appears that lots of Clifton, Arizona here is out of business, unfortunately. This is part of the Historic Society right here. Oh, okay. That's where you get the old pictures of Clifton right here, which is really, really cool. That's what Clifton used to look like before the Marinci Mines took over. There. Yeah, Clifton was the, um, let's look at these real quick. Clifton was the uh, original mining town. And then Marinci and Philip Dodge came along. Yeah, just like any other big corporation. Yeah, and kind of has put, set Clifton back a little bit. Just like every corporation does. <laughs> that is very true. But I love these old historical towns. The history here is pretty amazing. Man, this Clifton is really in the valley of these mountains. That is for sure. So if you don't know where Clifton, Arizona is, and I don't know where this will make it in the video, but uh, if you're still hanging around listening, it's over on the central eastern area. Of, uh, of Arizona near New Mexico. It's right on the edge of the White Mountains. It's in yeah. the foothills 
So from Tucson, I'm assuming it would be, that would be the big city Tucson. So I'm assuming from there, it would probably be about a three hour trip out here. Here's the Clifton Social Club. And even it has padlocks on the doors. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little concern as we're walking around here. Um, either everything's out of business or there's padlocks on everything. Um, Oh, they went out of oh, they went out of business. Well, I would think it would be difficult. It gets really hot here. It does. You know, I mean, it's cooler than Phoenix and Tucson, but not by much. Yeah, it's a nice little old. This is the Greenlee, a Greenlee Historic Museum. Cool virtual tour on YouTube. So if you're interested in a virtual tour of the Greenlee County Historical Museum. You can see it uh, see it online or it is open every Saturday from 12 p.m. Oh. to 4 p.m. by appointment. Okay, so um, that seems to be the theme here in, in, uh, in Clifton is everything is by uh, appointment only. So I did see a video this week that said that there's actually a plan to revitalize Clifton. And so they've been working on it for quite a while. And uh, and yeah, they're wanting to build more businesses here and make it grow again. So that's something yeah. they've been working on. So they do have a plan for the old. I don't think there's anything else. Down no, there. there's houses nothing else down there. Houses and apartments. So we'll yeah. turn around and... I mean, is it worth a trip out here? Yeah, if you like are into mines and old mining towns and stuff, it's definitely worth the trip. It's a beautiful drive. You know, if you come in from a Globe or that area, it's an oh. absolutely beautiful drive. I was definitely wrong earlier in the video. If you're still watching, it is a two-way. Obviously, you can see cars parked in both directions. It will be a tight two-way, though. If, Let's hope with, you have two Priuses going yeah, through at the same time. Two very small cars at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get back to the car, and then we'll get back with you. And uh, in just a minute here. But it is quiet. I haven't encountered anybody. It's a very sleepy town, that's for sure. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, look at all the bats. Look at all the bats, if you can see them in there. Wow, that is so cool. I wonder how far that goes back. Uh, that goes back in there. Hope everyone's able to see all the bats inside. They have up the bars or else it looks pretty secure to go in, but I don't think you're going to be able to ever get in this thing again. Wow. It's so much cooler in there, too. You can feel the cool air just, mm, excuse me, just, uh, just blowing out like crazy. We can see over here. They have up the no trespassing sign. I'm assuming it's for this place. So we will not go inside. And it looks like that person down there is living in their vehicle. The person to the left over here is also living in their vehicle. And it's running as well. So it's really cool to see the place, but the signs up I don't really know which area specifically is the no trespassing so there was the old mine shaft we just looked at and ended up there I guess that's I'm not sure what that was used for huh interesting but regardless it's all it's all abandoned out here now. Nobody uses this anymore. Okay, so here is the RV park. If you are in Clifton, Arizona, you travel in a RV, then here would be 
where the park is. It's a really nice park, actually. There's a lot of signs up over there of obviously history, I'm assuming. Well, this is a pretty cute little... RV park playground. So use of playground equipment is at your own risk. So the RV park is owned by the town of Clifton. Oh, okay. That's so, really neat. Yeah. That's what they do in like New Mexico and Texas. So this is owned by the town. Park facilities are closed at dark. Oh, this is, I didn't even know this existed. This is really cute. It is, awesome little campground back here. I'm not, I haven't seen a sign of how much this costs. So hold on a second. That will definitely. With most city owned RV parks, you have to book it through the actual city by calling the town hall usually. But I don't know if that's how this one works. It's pretty full this time of year. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are kind of permanent, but yeah. there's Marinci, the mining town is just right up here and that's probably a lot of miners who live here. North Clifton RV Park. So there you go, North Clifton RV Park. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Turn right here. There is a manager on duty. Oh, they do have a place where you can... It does appear. No parking off the pavement. Okay. Um, you just have to go inside. Pay all fees and costs. one 925 All right. They have showers. It looks like it's full hookups with showers, so if you're in the area passing through, looks like a nice little place here. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely say this is a decent spot. I would stay here with the RV. It's it's in the woods it's here. Very quiet. It seems very quiet. It seems like a mix of long term and just passing through. Which is baffling because typically with a city park your time is limited on how long you could stay so I don't know. Do remember however it gets very hot Oh yeah, in it's Clifton hot. but you have really some beautiful hot. views out that way and it is definitely a cute a cute park here. Yeah. yeah it's already 96 degrees here and it's only 10 in the morning. 96 at 10 in the morning. Okay, so if you come here to hang out in Clifton, Arizona, and there are openings. I do see spaces available. You would just have um, to call the number. Yeah. So you could uh, just call the number. It's obviously kid friendly if you're traveling with children. I mean, there you go. You got a nice, nice playground. Yeah, it's well capped. It looked like there were people on duty working for the for the uh, city of Clifton. Nice. Yeah, no, it's really nice here. That's for sure. I'm kind of surprised to see this back here. I know, I wasn't expecting this from here. what we've seen so We're far in this town. Oh, there's place. actually a dump station and a water fill on oh, your way out if you're if you needed that as well. So they, and then all the sites must not be full hookup. I, I don't know. Um, so you just check it out if you're interested. I'm sure they have all the info for you. Yeah, spend the night, spend the day in Clifton looking at the old Oh, wow. Here. Really cool. Yeah, we were eyeing this place. However, it does say private property. Yeah, this is an old... Uh, this is the old, uh, we'll come up here. Hold on one second. We'll, we'll come right back to you. Okay, so let's go back over here for a second. Nice little bridge if you're interested. Not much water in it. A pretty cool old bridge. You 
So this is the other side. We were just on the, the other side of it. This is this old mining operation. I'm not sure if anybody's still around or not. It does say no trespassing, do not enter. So we definitely won't go past the, the sign. Um, but you can see the old place, old Texaco right there. Yeah, one time this was definitely a hustling and bustling town.